Nitro Mini Fly right there. Bam. Man, that didn't take long. I may, might have put that on two minutes ago. Oh, nice big rainbow. Right there. Right there on the micro mini fly. Wow. Very cool. I'm all, I'm all backwards here. Look at that husky rainbow. What a beauty. Beautiful fish, nice square tail, awesome holdover, and there he goes. <laughs> let me show you that fly. Okay, let me show you the rig I got that rainbow on. So I'm using one of my hybrid lead core rigs, um, running one of my turbo flashers in the rainbow color right there. And about 18 inches behind the flasher, I've got what I call a micro mini fly. Um, that is basically a mylar fly covered with epoxy. Um, it has some artwork on it, it has some paint on it, and it has a marabou tail. I've got glassy conditions, you know, right now. The bite is backed off a little bit. I wanted to go with something very subtle, something very compact. I broke out the micro mini and the turbo flasher. I had that rainbow maybe three minutes into the troll. So we'll get this back into the water and uh, see if we can hook another fish. Fish on. He's a scrapper. <laughs> All right. Fish on the turbo flasher and worm. It is not an easy day out here, but uh, got one on. Let's see if we can get him in the kayak. He's on the weak side. They always are. They know which side's the weak side. So <laughs> anyway, lead core, um, 15 feet, 1.6. Wind is pushing me, so I'm barely having to pedal here. Hmm. A scrappy rainbow, I will say that. Hopefully, I can just lift him in. We shall see. He's coming now. Oh, head shaking like crazy. Oh man, <laughs> what a fight. He means it, he thinks he weighs 10 pounds. <laughs> oh, that's a thrill. Well, there he is over there. Now he's trying to pass me. He's swimming past me. Oh, come here you. Well, that's a pretty nice planter, nothing wrong with that. Oh, oh that's a nice fish. Oh, a great fish for French, or for, uh, for this high mountain lake we're at here. Let me see here. There we go. We got him. Woo! He's a fatty. <laughs> oh, see, I knew I had to net that fish. He was not hooked very well. Worm popped right out of his mouth. We'll get him back in the water. Um, I got plenty of fish from the last time I was out here. But uh, I did want to make sure I got him in the boat after such a slow morning. So let's take a look at this guy. Oh yeah, he's a he's a chunk. He is a chunky planter. He's missing part of his tail. But uh, nice fish. Couldn't lay off that worm and turbo flash. You're a good deal. Get him back in for somebody else to enjoy. What a fight. What a great fish. So very cool. Awesomeness. What do you think, Lou? You smell him? Yeah? All right. Well, here we go. Back in with you. There he goes. Awesome. Sure. Let's take a quick look at that rig. We've got the turbo flasher right there, rainbow color. Oops, I hooked my leg. Oh no, oh wait. No, I hooked my waders. Um, anyways, so I got that turbo flasher there and I am running that uh, threaded worm. This one's all messed up now. On the slow death hook, maybe, I don't know, 20 inches, 22 inches behind the flasher. Howdy folks, Kel Kellogg here. 
This is the Turbo Flasher. Look at that. It just spins and spins and spins. Um, saw me using this last week up in the high Sierras. I caught a bunch of fish on it. Yesterday, I took it out during a very tough bite and it absolutely saved the day for me. Um, I've been running a lot of threaded worms behind it, but you can use them with flies, spoons, you know, whatever you would ordinarily put behind a flasher, you can put behind the Turbo Flasher. Now, the response from guys on the channel has been just about overwhelming. I've had dozens of emails asking me where they can be had, do I sell them in the store, stuff like that. Well, I can tell you, we now have sets of turbo flashers in the Fish Hunt Shoot store at fishhuntshoot.com. Let's talk rigging first, and then I'll show you what a, what a set consists of. Now, this isn't the only way to rig these. This is how I've been rigging them, but they are super, super versatile. I take a section of 20 pound fluorocarbon line. I tie on a barrel swivel. I put on a bead. I put on the turbo flasher. I put on another bead that acts as a bearing. And then I put on a snap swivel. My main line from the rod attaches to the barrel swivel. My leader, and my worm, spoon, fly, whatever, attaches to that snap swivel. Um, you control these extremely slow. They will rotate at about a half a mile an hour or even less. Um, you could take them all the way up to three plus miles an hour. Extremely versatile. They track very true through the water column. They don't sink. They don't walk side to side. If you're running them off a downrigger, let's say it's 20, you know, 22 feet deep, and you're running this 100 feet behind the ball, and you're running it at 20 feet, it's not gonna sink. It's gonna be at the same level as the ball. Very little drag, you can fight your fish right through it. It's just an incredible device. Um, I absolutely love them. Now, in situations where you want more vibration or maybe different colors, you could put another bead right there and run two of them or three of them or four of them, whatever. You could put this on your main line right above your trolling swivel. Um, they are just super versatile. Let me show you the kit. Pretty simple stuff. You're gonna get a little package of hardware. If you wanna rig them up like I do there on some 20 pound fluorocarbon or whatever, um, you got your hardware right there. You could rig them on braid, light braid. You could rig them on mono, doesn't matter. But your hardware's there. You got some barrel swivels, some snap swivels, all the beads you need, so you're all set with hardware. And you're gonna get turbo flashers in six different colors. You're gonna get pink and white, just like that. You're gonna get, got these in a sandwich bag. You're gonna get straight chrome on chrome just like that and that that is a that puts out a tremendous amount of flash um very high luster chrome awesome you're gonna get chartreuse orange dot that's one of my favorites man that thing in the water it just it just practically glows it is very bold you're gonna get another chrome model but with an orange nose chrome and orange and finally, you're gonna get Fire Tiger. It's got, a, got some orange on the fins. It's got that scale pattern, very cool. And last but not least, you're gonna get my favorite, which is the rainbow. It's got some purple, some blue, or chrome. Um, you know me, I like rainbow colored stuff, so it, uh, it's a great color for me, and it's been a, it's been a killer producer so far. So anyway, Rainbow, pink and white, fire tiger, chartreuse orange dot, chrome and orange, straight chrome, the rigging kit delivered to your house for 25 bucks out the door. Um, it's a great value, it's a great flasher. You can stack them, you can run them alone, you could put them back to back. You can even cast with these. If you use a short leader, you can thread this on your line, make a cast and use it in a lake or a stream. I don't know any other flasher that you can cast with a spinning rod. So extremely versatile. Um, you can rig them like I do and they work great. Use your imagination. This is something that you could play with, you could tweak with, you can run it for kokanee, kings, rainbows, browns, whatever. 
the Turbo Flasher. Get your kit now. Get on over to the fishhuntshoot.com website, check out our store, and grab your set of Turbo Flashers. Nobody else has them. I developed them. 25 bucks delivered to your house. They are absolutely awesome, guys. Get ready to scream, fish on! <laughs> anyway, I'm having a good time here. I will catch you next time right here on YouTube. Thanks for all the support, guys, and you have a happy, healthy day. I'm Kel Kellogg, and I'm signing off.